Hello. Happy Sunday. Happy Sunday. Can you see me? I clean you. One second. <laughs> Maybe you see me better. <laughs> Anyway, happy Sunday, happy Sunday to all of you. Welcome in uh, crazy Tuscany. One second uh, rain, one second uh, sun. But uh, what is important today, we cook uh, a super good pasta that is extremely simple and quite, uh, uh, let's say, with few ingredients. What I have already done is still, is already boiling. I'm cooking the broccoli. I show you what I have done. I have just cut this part, okay, in this way, and then I have made a cut in the middle in this way, okay, just to let them cook uh, very, f let's say, very fast. Ciao, ciao Maria, ciao, ciao, ciao. So they are boiling in salted water. So I put one tablespoon of sea salt into the water. So I just show you immediately. So broccoli are there, boiling, okay? And now we wait a few minutes because I just put them inside, um, let's say two minutes ago. So we wait a couple of minutes, maybe less, and then we go on. I know you are still sleeping, I don't know, or you are going to bed. <laughs> so happy, happy, Sunday, good morning, good afternoon, good evening. Ciao Chiara, ciao. I see you Chiara. <laughs> so, ciao Michele, ciao, ciao, ciao. So let's start very, very quickly. We change our clocks in the USA. So you have a different time now. So, my God, we are still in the, let's say, we will go in the, let's say, in the new hour, I think next week, or in two weeks, maybe. Ciao, Ronda, ciao, ciao, ciao. So, we start, because our broccoli are cooking. So, let me see. Just one minute, and then off we go. Of course, we are going. We are going to cook pasta in the water of broccoli. Okay, so they they will be much more flavored. Ciao, Cristina. Mm -hmm. Meantime, I can also put it up a little bit. This one. Mm -hmm. I think is enough. Just check with a fork. Uh, one minute, one minute, one minute. One minute. Ciao, Greg. Ciao, Michelle. Pay pazienza. Pazienza is uh, patient. <laughs> Ciao, Debbie. One minute and then broccoli are ready. So we make a lovely cream that you can also make with other, let's say, vegetables, changing, changing just few things. Good morning, good morning, Debbie, good morning. <laughs> mm -hmm. So maybe I had to put them inside before, but otherwise I don't want that they overcook. I don't want also because uh, less we uh, boil our vegetables better is how is Italy this morning Italy this morning is crazy because it rains showers Sun is March it's fully March <laughs> but it's not temperature are not, are not so cold Ciao Sherry, ciao ciao ciao. <laughs> Welcome in the <laughs> seems to be I, I see uh, it seems like a, a witch, you know, boiling smokes everywhere. I promise there are no 
strange animals. <laughs> okay, I think our lovely, yes, our lovely broccoli is ready. So we put the broccoli here. Okay, so. Mm -hmm. So we drain and we put in the jar. So just a salted water. If something remains in the water, it doesn't matter. It will stay with pasta, don't worry. It's also okay. Okay, so what we do now, we put immediately pasta into the water because the sauce is very quick. And I had penne, you can use what you like in the picture, there are uh, linguine, but you can use what you like. So, penne. So, now, we go here. We add here one clove of garlic. This is old basil, never throw away, use also in the kitchen in making these things. Then mix, just mix the pasta. Then we put a little bit of fresh pepper, just a little bit. Then we have a little bit of pecorino cheese and then what we have next is Philadelphia cheese I think you see reverse I don't know anyway Philadelphia cheese we are going to put just half of it so I open with you we have fully time because uh, Pasta needs, let's say, 10 minutes. So let's say we put something like this to make cream. So let's say like a tablespoon. Then what we do, we take a little bit of water in which there is the pasta and before there was the broccoli of course okay i think it's enough anyway we will judge then uh, step by step and with immersion and blender off we go <laughs> Consistency is perfect. I want to be sure the garlic is <laughs> is completely sorry for the noise. Okay. I think our cream is ready now I show you immediately immediately how it is so it's hot <laughs> consistency is this It 
is that uh, four inches? Four inches. Oh gosh, for what? Uh, Terry, it looks more than yesterday. Philadelphia cheese. Philadelphia cheese. Uh, I will tell you how much it is, but this uh, this one is uh, just a few. Is uh, sixty two grams. So sixty two grams uh, is not four ounces. I don't think so. Wait. So I think it's just uh, it's just it was just at the end a tablespoon. So calculate it just to make it creamy. You don't need so much. Otherwise, taste too much Philadelphia or whatever you put. Ciao, Susan. So I I convert quickly. Convertitore. So, but I think it's. So, so, zero virgola, zero virgola zero sessanta due. Two point two ounces was the complete package, so I put less. So just. Uh, a tablespoon. My measurement is a tablespoon of Philadelphia. So off we go. Uh, I don't know if one ounce is a one tablespoon. Take the tablespoon as measurement is 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 better. So I mix pasta. Now here is getting warm. And then we have here one chale made in very, very small pieces. Okay, so first of all, we put a little bit of pepper here. Just a bit. Then we take a little bit of water. So we toss a little bit of pepper. We toss, we cook in the water, let's say. When it starts to bubble, then we put the guanciale. I love this color so much. <laughs> of course, you don't need to put salt here because the broccoli has cooked in salted water and then uh, there is the pecorino cheese, so you don't need other salt here. Start to evaporate. Let's raise the temperature. Ciao Polina, ciao Angela. <laughs> In the meantime, we mix our pasta. Three, four minutes for the pasta. So we have time. We have time.
starts to bubble starts to bubble I love when the pepper is in this way so there is a super smell super 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 Let's roast our one shallot. Put it down a bit, a bit just medium high. Ciao Victoria from Skopje. <laughs> Ciao Victoria. Not yet. Not yet. Always use a uh, um, non-sticky pen for de doing this. Rainy again, super showering. <laughs> super showering. Just a bit of water. Let's mix the pasta, close to be ready, one minute. And our guanciale is getting, is getting roasting. Okay. 
bench and put everything and let it go a little bit with the one shallot so the pasta takes flavor. Of course I can put it off. This could be also <laughs> a, go, a dish with just a bit of pecorino cheese on. A bit more of water, so we finish just the cooking of pasta, just a little bit. And now we go with the cream. A dream and this is a dream I tell you <laughs> mm -hmm. of course you can uh, let's say take uh, out a little bit of um, guanciale and Put it on as decoration if you want, of course. My dear is uh, ready and is uh, a dream, I tell you before. <laughs> it's so uh, good. And I put it off here. Now, we put in a dish. We put it in a dish. Put you. Okay, this continue to go because it's it's hot. But doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. There is a wonderful smell here. I tell you. Mm -hmm. Okay. I was disappeared for a few, but here <laughs> I'm back. How did you make this cream? Lorenza, just follow the video. And it's very easy. So, look at this. Wait, it's not finished. Wait, wait, wait. I put you here. So, a little bit more of pecorino cheese on top. a little bit of pepper on top so my dear ones dish is ready super smelling super delicious super creamy super super <laughs> so of course as always um, make your questions I will put the ingredients later and buona domenica from uh, Super <laughs> crazy, uh, rainy Toscana. Ciao, look at this, so good. Uh -huh. it. Just to show you, it's super delicious and healthy is 50-50 uh, because there is the guanciale. <laughs> Ciao, buona domenica, happy, happy Sunday. I'm going to eat. Ciao!